Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Just another day to learn new things and improve ourselves. So let's go. I'm going to show you how to set up a current period in Anaplan. So let's get started. First of all, make sure that the model that you're working in is brand new so that you don't mess up anything. Maybe create a test uh, model or something so that you can learn in it. And so let's go ahead and go to the time icon and go to current period and set up the current period. Most companies use the current month as current period. So I'm going to assume so and select June 24th. So once I select June 24th, I'm going to hit apply. You will always get a warning like this to ask you, are you sure? Uh, because if you change anything here, it will affect everything in the entire model. So here we're going to click OK. If you didn't want to do that, you will click cancel. So OK. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create two system modules related to time so that we can use them for lookups, for formula references, etc. So let me create the first one and I'm going to call it sys 0 put any time dimension there and then I'm going to put the line item as current period and so I'm going to hit OK after that. So in this current period line item, I'm going to format it as a month time period. So time period. I'm going to make sure it stays as month. Okay. This warning will always come unless you want to disable it and click on don't show again. So I'm going to put a formula here and I'm going to put this formula as period, current period start. So as you can see, it's going to bring up 2024. So if you use this formula and the current period here was blank, as you can see, it's June 24 instead of it being blank, then the result would be blank here as well. So you have to be very careful. So that's the only line item I'm going to put there. And then I'm going to create another system module. Let me reorder it so that it's below that. And then insert another system module. Sys for one. Um, settings. And this one is going to have time as in dimension because the formulas there will be used to basically look up which month is the actual month which month is the um forecast month etc so let's put uh time as a line item period. And then once we put those land items there, we're going to click OK. And we're going to format those land items. So this one, we're going to format it as month. And then the rest, we'll format them as boolean. And here I'm going to just copy this format and then paste it there so that I don't have to do it manually again and click OK. So now it's good. And then here I'm going to put a 
formula as rm time. So this rm time formula brings for every month that the time is showing Jan 24, Jan 24, Feb 24, Feb 24, etc. So now for the current period, I'm gonna say time is equal to this one and click apply. So we want it to be to be boolean checked on June 24. As you can see, on June 24 there is a boolean check. So this actual period, we can say that we can put a formula there and say that um, time is equal to the forecast the current period I mean minus one as you can see it's going to put me as actual let's say that you work for a company that instead of it be having the actual as uh, a month prior to the current period it being like two months away then you're gonna just do minus two and then the actual will be to actual period so thank you so much and i uh, will talk to you soon bye